So I think that there is going to be a trade deal of some some form or another, but mm. uh, not necessarily one that's enforceable. We don't really know that. But um, very likely for, uh, the Chinese vice premier would, would go into this meeting with President Trump and explain some of the changes that China has made, say that they've, they're willing to make big purchases. A lot of the talk has been that this could be a six-year deal, like $1 trillion worth of stuff. And, um, and then just recently we've seen a lot of what would, um, from the Chinese perspective, look like concessions, but from the U.S. perspective, look like incremental changes. So, for example, the, the um, nod to the cloud computing industry and opening there for some American companies or, uh, you know, the, the discussion recently about fentanyl uh, substances all going on to the drug uh, substance It's all control important. Risk. I mean, we've it, talked it to is. senators and, yeah. and, and people here who are watching that very closely and saying, look, that's important. Yeah. Um, what I like is kind of the 2025 deadline to it. It's our own version of China yeah. 2025. That's right. What are you going to have done <laughs> by really then? Funny. What will be opened up? Yeah. How much of this will be done? And if you can't enforce it along the way, at least you're going to say by 2025, here's the deadline. For yeah, me. yeah. But I think the, the tough part is going to be the enforcement mechanism because uh, the Chinese have said over and over that uh, they are not happy with this idea, that uh, the tariffs would be looming over their head for a very long time. And in case they don't make good on what the U.S. wants, that, that they could be slapped with that. You know, they is want to make sure that it's... Is that the China, uh, Chinese side saying we want 2025 because by then President Trump will be out of office, he will be done with a second term if he's reelected? Uh, it's, it's unclear. Like that's what I, or or yeah. was that something that... Uh, that I, there's so many things to read into it. Yeah, but I have a feeling that, that uh, from the Chinese perspective they don't want to say 2025 a whole lot because we have seen that term made in China 2025 disappear from yeah. all of the, the various documents yeah they, they should be on top by then in their view I think and they should be what they should be on top yeah. they'll be winning you know, yes. dominating yeah yes 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 well, yeah so and that's what that's one of throw the, a wrench in the works if possible well I think that's one, one of the, <laughs> the concerns that that can't uh, we from both the win can't we all just I get along? don't know I don't know because it depends on what the US Not wants a zero -sum if the game. US wants the ter uh, the, the, the the one trillion dollars worth of stuff that's been bought and that's going to be the main focus and you don't have to worry so much about um, China pushing ahead with an economic agenda that yep. know, means that China's going to dominate technology then, but then for, you know, it, can win global trade can be win-win I don't know why it has to be uh, zero sum.